Good afternoon, my name is Alina Shautsova, I'm an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's video, I would like to provide you some updates regarding the new bill that aims at uh, fixing the situation for dreamers or DACA, DACA holders. Uh, sometimes it's not the same because people, sometimes those who qualify for uh, DACA, not necessarily are going to qualify for this proposed bill, at least according to the media. So thank you very much for joining me. My name is Alina Shoutsova again. Um, if you would like to stay updated with the most recent news in, in immigration, in the United States immigration, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, and I promise to deliver uh, the most recent immigration news and my thoughts and tips on immigration delivered to you promptly. promptly. So let's, so let's start. start. Um, just uh, yesterday, we received news that a new bill actually sponsored by both Democrats and Republicans is going to be introduced or is being introduced for uh, consideration before the United States Congress. While I checked the congress.gov website and did not see the exact text of the bill, many mass media um, reporters reported that uh, the bill is exact copy of 2019 Dream Act that the same senator uh, was sponsoring in 2019. And I uh, took it upon myself to do some research and um, find the qualifications for the 2019 bill. And then I did some more digging in and I found that uh, some reporters are reporting on the new bill qualifications, and I have to say that they, they differ a little bit. Not significantly, but they, they, they will be, uh, those changes will be significant for many people who are potentially seeking to qualify for this relief. So first of all, what the bill is talking about is, uh, they're talking about the cancellation of removal. Cancellation of removal, but uh, before Department of Homeland Security. Just so you know, right now, there is a cancellation of removal application that can be applied for, but only by those people who are already in deportation or, re or removal proceedings. So this bill is, of course, for narrow group of people, for young people, and uh, it's designed for uh, to cancel the removal and uh, uh, obtain and, and be provided uh, a green card. So basically, if a person's application is going to be um, is going to be granted, his or her removal is going to be cancelled, and the person is going to get a green card in the United States. And um, I have to tell you that um, in 2019, these were the qualifications, main qualifications. So first of all, a person must have been younger, or supposed to be younger than 18 at the time of the initial entry to the United States. Then the person was supposed to be not inadmissible. Um, that's a general requirement, the same as in, in, as in this new proposed bill. Will Would have to meet educational requirement. Again, the same as in the new bill. Educational requirement would be the high school diploma or be um, right now enrolled in a high school or GED program or or the person would have to have a GED equivalent, right? So the education requirement and background check is basically the same. But what's interesting is that the bill of 2019 would require a person to demonstrate that he or she has been continuously residing in the United States for four years prior to the enactment of the bill, right? So those were the main requirements. But check this out. When I researched the new requirements of 2021 bill, and again, I might be not accurate in my research because I based this information on reporters that supposedly have earlier access to the text of the bill because they work with the congressmen's, uh, congressmen. So the new bill of two, 2021 says that a person would have to demonstrate that he or she was 16, not 18, at the time of the arrival, would have to show five years, not four years of continuous uh, presence in the United States, would have to be between 12 to 35 at the time when the bill is enacted. So the cutoff age would be 35 at the time when the bill is enacted. 
Of course, there are other, those common requirements with the 2019 version is the educational requirement and lack of serious criminal convictions. But now, what I want to call your attention to is that age cutoff requirement from 12 to 35 years old. Right now, a person can file for DACA, the first time filer, if he is about 38 years old. So it seems that if this age cutoff requirement is accurate, as reported by the media, a person currently will be able to file successfully for DACA, but will not qualify for this, um, for this new bill. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to see, I guess, as soon as the text of the bill is published. Right now, it has not been published on the official government website. But this is the preliminary analysis. So basically, the bill is designed for uh, younger people, those who came to the United States, arrived prior to reaching 16 or maybe 18, if we based it on the 2019 version. So relatively young, right, when they were at least a minor, and they will have to demonstrate continuous presence in the United States for four or five years. And this is an interesting point. I guess it will depend on the, on the final version of the bill. Will it matter if the person left the United States for some time? Will it matter if the person, um, if the person never applied for DACA? Uh, and again, this tiny age difference, it will not be tiny for certain people who may potentially be disqualified from filing for this new bill. If the cutoff age is 35, as I said, as reported by the media, then those people who can still file for DACA for the first time will be cut off from this bill. Now, the good news. The good news is that the uh, main sponsor of the bill stated that he is willing to to pass this bill as a part of the uh, larger immigration reform. So it's very important because it means that it's just the first step towards achieving that equality and justice that was promised to the immigrants in the United States. Okay, so these updates about that bill. Hopefully you find them useful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell, like, share this video, and I hope to see you soon.